at my house. He's a goddamn nut job. Calm down, sir. If you could just give me a detailed description. Tony! Where's your wife? You owe me. Officers, here he is. This man is insane. He destroyed my house! Whoa! Hey! No, wait a minute. You asked me. He's he's ruined my life. He's he's a he's a stalker. He's he's an epsilonist! Yeah! Get him! For Dumb move, Josh. for someone, take some time out of your day to pleasure a man's wife, burn down a house. I don't know. Some people. Hey, what's up, my nigga? Good to see you, dawg. Uh -uh. That asshole is about to kill himself. Which asshole? Oh, that perfect investor guy. Shit, whatever. You're obligated to tell me. You really don't give a shit, but you were just made this way? He's this way? But you off to get cast in a movie role more suitable to your talents? Oh shit, all right, dawg. I'll holler at you, my nigga. Don, what the hell you about to do, man? Nothing. It's perfectly safe. <laughs> like last time, huh? Yeah. If I don't hit your vagina on the way down. <sighs> hey, man, I ain't too sure about this one. Man, that motherfucking dog was the real deal. What dog? <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, man. Well, it's your call. <gasps> Dumb idiot. Crazy ass fucking fool. Hey, Slick, it's me. <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. Oh, yeah. But that's my boy. 
Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man, the feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds, Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you gonna A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, Try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C. Time's ticking, pal. Beep, beep, beep. And your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. <laughs> genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Buh bye Man, fuck you. Franklin, what's up? Shit, what's cracking, homie? We need to talk, but somewhere quiet, all right? Yeah, sure, man. Whatever you need. How about one of those empty lots off El Burro, on the east side of town? Yeah, all right, homie. Look, I'll meet you there, all right? Franklin, what's up, big homie? Mike, man. I need to have a conversation with Trevor. You know, yeah, that conversation. Oh, shit. All right, okay. Look, man, the FIB dudes want him gone. And Devin Weston want y'all gone. You know how it is, dawg. Shit. Somebody gotta go. Oh, well, ain't fucking me. Exactly, man. Look, we meeting at a Borough Heights. So you think you can help me? Uh, I don't know. That sounds like it's your thing, Frank. I I'll see what I can do. Hey, man. How you doing? Shit, I'm good, T. And yourself? <sighs> Peachy! I know what this is about. You do? Of course! It's Michael! You're the peacemaker! Well, I ain't having it, all right? I ain't having it. I mean, maybe when the heat dies down. But this, nah, I ain't having it. I mean, that's it, right? Huh? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? But Michael ain't the problem. T, I like you. You scare the shit out of me sometimes. You creep me the fuck out. But, but the way I see it, the way anyone normal will see it, not that any of this shit is normal, man, you gonna get us all fucking killed. You gonna whack me? Huh? Me? I ain't been nothing but straight and true with you. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, you have been true with me. But the truth ain't what I'm interested in. You fucking shoot him! Oh 
so you gonna run from me, huh? You grow the fuck up. I mean, I admit I'm a bad piece of work, but that guy, that piece of shit, no boundaries, no sense of when to back off, no nothing. 24 7 insanity, day in, day out, all the time. Never regretted nothing, never cared for nothing. Oh, fuck him. I mean, there's gotta be a limit, kid. You know, a point where even assholes like us say, enough is he fucking enough. Human stew. That's my limit. I know that now. I guess that's that, then. It is what it is. Hey, it's certainly been an education. Surviving is winning, Franklin. Everything else is bullshit. Fairy tales spun by people afraid to look life in the eye. Whatever it takes, kid. Survive.
Hello. Uncle T, Dad. I, I just heard he's... he's... He's not gonna bother us anymore. We're safe. Uncle T, he was a good guy! No, he wasn't. He was dangerous. Uncle T? Did you do it? Did you, Dad? Uncle T wanted to kill all of us, Jim. He wasn't well. Uncle T? Man, fuck! Swedish rapper Stockholm Syndrome says he understands about struggle. Los Santos Medical Marijuana University is gearing up to teach residents how to make artisanal cocaine if Proposition 208 passes. The university will instruct students how to make cocaine in a range of flavors, including pineapple, coconut, menthol, and for those cocaine aficionados that miss the taste of authentic cocaine from the smuggling heyday, Guatemalan butthole flavor. Hip Hop News. The gritty Euro rapper known as Stockholm Syndrome has flown into Vinewood on a wave of record label publicity hoping he will breathe life into the dying gangster rap genre. The only problem, Syndrome comes from the country with the highest standard of living on Earth. His tales of state medicine, elk hunting, conflict resolution, and snowshoeing are very powerful. But will they resonate with American audiences? Only time will tell. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Okay, I did it, all right? I know, good dog. Look, man. Devin Weston came to talk to me. He wanted me to clap Michael and let Trevor go. Then you should have clapped both of them. Man, ain't it something you and Dave can do? Cause he might be pissed, man. Dave can't do anything. Dave's lucky I let him do my paperwork. He's this close to discharge with no pension. Well shit, is this something you can do? Sure, I can talk to Devin. He's licking his wounds after Meriwether lost her license to operate in the state. He might need a friend. Oh yeah, okay, she. I hear it could be real useful having an FIB agent looking out for you. Hey, your chips are cashed, pal. Don't contact me again. Trevor, apparently he's, he's dead. Yeah, I, uh, I heard. Fuck, I mean, he was like my uncle. Shit, man, he was kind of crazy, dawg. I mean, we all a little crazy, but he was a lot of crazy, homie. Uncle T, man, can't believe it. Yeah, bad business. But this life is bad business sometime, homie. Shit, I see you, dawg. Hey, what's happening, homie? Man, you right about stress, dog. Dude janky as fuck. After all the scams and attempted homicides, huh? Now you say he janky? Well, excuse me if I want to see the best in people, nigga. But this is, though, homie, I got to stay low key. <laughs> yeah, you do that. And keep breathing, dog. Hey, kid, how you doing? Shit, not too good, dawg. Look, man, we need to talk, but somewhere quiet. All right. Listen, let's take a drive out of town. You and me, we'll meet off Route 68 by that field of satellite dishes. All the way out there? Yeah, all right, man. Sure. Frankie! Hey, T, man, I'm in trouble, dawg. I think I gotta take out Michael. Got to? Yeah, man, look, the FIB, man, they trying to get me to clap you. And Devin Weston, he trying to get me to ice Michael. And I thought if I, if I do that, man, maybe we got some room, you know? So, wh what are you telling me this for? Cuz, dawg, I'm doing this for us. I thought you could... Well, I can't! You're turning on him? I have had enough traitors in my life! Man, your ass could say thank you. Shit. You deserve each other.
Hey, man. Hey, what's up? You seem kind of agitated. Man, shit ain't good right now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hey, baby, what's up? Really? Tracy? College? Our Tracy? R real college? You gotta be kidding me. That's great. All right, well, hey, listen, let me talk to you a little later, all right? Yeah, I just gotta wrap up some business here. All right, bye. Ah, uh, Amanda. Says she wants me to bring you around the house sometime for dinner. One of these nights, huh? Fuck. I mean, I don't know what I did to deserve this motherfucking luck. I got my kids back, my wife, and a job that I love. I mean, I made it. We made it. You and me, bro. <laughs> what? I like you, dog, and you know this. I risked everything for your ass, dog. What is this? Look, man. Me and you know this shit ain't over, dog. We both realists. The fuck is this? You. You? You came here to fucking clip me? You? Fuck! Be here after your ass. Well, we'll see about that, you fuck. I'll take you every time. <laughs> every fucking time. Yeah? Fucking A right. <laughs> ah! You man, I was your bitch. I couldn't even stand down the barrel of your gun any fucking day, you mother. You just keep telling yourself that. It ain't gonna make you feel any better. Past performance, homie. People don't fucking change. You did. You. 
32-bit gangster gone 3-bit. Now you're gonna... Cap! The only one who was ever decent to you! Ha! No. I trusted you. I took you in. Treated you like family. Ha! My... Let's just... Fuck you! Hey! You told me when the time came! I know! I'm sorry! You hypocrite! I should have clipped you when you broke into my house! Man, I'm sorry! It's like you said, I understand! You don't understand nothing! I'm all you got! You made the wrong call! Ah! I'll bring you down with me! I'm taking you down! You're coming in the ground with me! Franklin! <clears throat> Hey, Lamar, it's me, homie. Look, I was just calling to see how you was doing, dog. Or maybe we can hang out or something. Man, I know I've been kind of caught up in shit, man, but shit been real crazy, homie. But it's dealt with now. Fuck, man, you know how it is, homie. You just start running and shit, and all of a sudden your legs give and you just can't run no more. Anyway, man, man, just hit me, dog. We brothers, homie, all right? There were six cowboys in here a minute ago. I'll see you next time, all right? Bye. Franklin, homie, what's happening, man? Hey, you know you sound kind of patronizing and borderline racist when you speak to me like that. I grow up. Is it more patronizing than telling you to ice your favorite uncle? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. How'd it go? Look, it happened, man. So y'all gotta get the FIB off my case, man, since I didn't smoke Trevor for him. It's already done, homie. Haynes' boss has been spoken to. All right, so now what? You got a job for me? Oh, I had a job for you, Slick, and you just did it. Let me take a look down a list of your uses and... Oh, yeah, we're all out of them. I do have some advice for you, though. Go to business school, because clown school ain't worked out so good. Hello? Yo, F, you see my dad? We ain't seen him for a while. Uh, no. Uh, no, I haven't, man. Oh, great. Because my mom is majorly freaking out. Hello? My fucking dad is dead. My dad is dead. What the fuck, man? What do you know about it? M my fucking dad. Michael? Shit. Man, I don't know nothing. Seriously. Damn, that's bad, man. 
Look, man, I loved your dad, man, but I'm sorry, but fuck you, man. I wasn't counting cards. I was cheating. Hello? My dad! My, my dad's dead! My dad! Uh, Uncle G, my dad! Well, uh... Yeah. Well, I never had a father. My dad! My fucking dad! How did it happen? My dad! Yeah, it's... It's a bad business, certainly. I... I'm sorry. My fucking dad! My dad, you... He tried to be a good friend to you, and now he's dead! Uh, send my best to your mom. Just call me when you're ready. If you're trying to creep on me, do it better than that. What? You here to take me out, too? Aw, oh, man. I could have taken you out. I chose to do Mike. He was good to you, too. And he used me, dog, straight up. Could not be trusted, you know that. Now you can't be trusted either. Stay away from me, Frank. I don't know what I'll do. Franklin? Lester, dog. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I, all right, I'm coming. What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Who are the motherfuckers? <sighs> Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the, um... Oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever hole he hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right, I say... Kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Oh. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know, I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dawg. I know, okay, but I, I'm sorry, I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both that you boys are at the foundry in Marietta Heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. 
I got you. What's up, homie? Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. It's all good, nigga. Who better to have in a fucked up situation than a fucked up fool like me? Man, that's what the fuck I wanted to hear. Hey, look, I'm coming to your crib to get your ass. I'm here. There he is. Where we going? We, uh, heading to the foundry place. Hey, look, hear me out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with it. Man, we got a real problem, dawg. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save them. You actually doing something for your homies? Four chains? Hell yeah, I'm in. Who want to clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Look, man, Mike on Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? It'll get the job done. Hey, man, what the fuck am I doing risking my ass trying to save y'all ass if we just gonna kill each other? Hey, you're not saving me. You're saving him. Ah, oh, you're saving this fat fuck. Man, y'all gotta keep y'all fucking heads right and end this shit. If not, man, I'll put bullets in both of you motherfuckers. Hey, they here? I know them when I see them, homie. They creep. All right, good. Y'all hear that? Now, if we're doing this shit, man, it's either now or never. Come on, Trevor. Fuck it! Where do you want me? All right, man. You go over there. All right, where you want me? You hold your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there.
team where I last saw him, and he ain't responding. Man, I gotta stay out here with Lamar. Can you get to him? Shit. Fine. For now? Exactly, for now. So, what's next, huh? Are we just gonna wait around till someone else comes to kill us, or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned again? Oh, fight me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noises. What the hell yo? Let me see. There's uh Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that tribe, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the uh the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch? We wanna throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. Man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals, Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground, Wheels! Uh-huh. You, um, just 
calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang. And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Check it! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the beach club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. Last, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! God, this is crap. Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this framed right? <clears throat> yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Oh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Hi. A city of celluloids. A city of scum. Oh, my God! Guy! What's his name? He shot him! Lester, I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. The Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll go up there and get him. Who's next? Hey, the boy Chang. Don't worry, I'm on.
Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. Assholes. Weston, let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOA, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you. Apart from the obvious hygiene issue, Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go. You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you'll ever want it. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on! Come on! Let me out of here! Look! I 
got my own company, Trevor Phillips Industries. Oh, yeah, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a steak and give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Good. Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and so. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch. You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism, the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. <laughs> Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. <laughs> So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man. You two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh.
Hey, crazy man, you calling me to share some of that metal, dog? Nah, I'm calling to thank you for backing us up. Nothing says thank you like a gold bar, homie. Nothing says thank you like saying thank you. You're a good kid. I'm a poor kid. Man, shit. Shit, I gotta go. Yes, keep watching. We forget a thousand things every day. Can't we just make this one of them? Arthur Penny Sanatorium. Michael, my boy! Is everything okay? Yeah, I mean, the economy's fucked. The industry I love has screwed itself. My kids are still useless, but yeah, things are okay. When are we making our next movie? Soon, Michael, soon. You don't know anyone with some liquidity for financing. This union depository thing has really shook the market. Actually, I know a guy who's come into some cash. Let's do lunch. Excellent! I'll see you soon. I love you, Michael. And I mean that. With all the sincerity a movie producer can muster. Hey, homie. Hey, what's up, dog? I thought you should know, man. Stretch is dead. He an OG. An OG? Man, that nigga try to set us up to get clapped, nigga. And he try to get us sold a brick of drywall. He a dangerous motherfucker, man. Now he gone. Probably for the best, homie. But I'm sure I am lucky to have a cold-ass motherfucker like you to make them decisions, nigga. <laughs> yeah, you are, nigga. This is Tanisha Jackson. I guess I'm busy, so you know what to do. So, you've done well for yourself. What? What, what are you doing here? Is that how you greet your mother, Trevor? I, 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 I didn't know they let you out. So you never wrote to me? You never visited? Well, well, I... I bet you never found a girl. Tell me, Trevor, are you gay? No. Is that what this is all about? No. I wouldn't care. In fact, I've always wanted a gay son. A son who wouldn't forget about his mother. But Ma! But Ma, but Ma, but Ma, nothing. Not a peep. I carried you in here. I fed you. I weaned you. Now look at you. You always were an ungrateful, wretched, sniveling sack of shit of a boy. You know it, and I know it. There was always something wrong with you. Ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of me, of your own mother. I've been here for hours. And have you gotten me a drink or a cigarette or massaged my feet? I'm an old woman. And you, in the prime of life, have you nothing inside? I'm so sorry. I <laughs> There, there, it's okay, son. <laughs> oh, that's it now! Here I am, old and tired and alone. I'm so sorry for everything. Exactly, for everything. I'm an old woman, Trevor. I don't got no insurance. Oh, I got money! I don't want your goddamn money! Is that what you think I am? A prostitute? 
still, you're sick. What can I do? I'm in a lot of pain. I need you to get me some more Deludamol. I can do that. A lot of them. A truckload, literally. And not those weedy little ones. The thousand milligram ones. And if you find me a gentleman, well, we both know you need a father figure. about three of you right now. What, Dylan? Some kind of condition. Baby. I got stuck in Muro Heights traffic for an hour and stuff yesterday, yeah. Wasted my days. so much all the time. 